You don't want to lose your data if your system breaks. Use a backup tool like TimeShift. I show you how. So stay tuned. If you use Linux Mint, TimeShift is pre-installed, but you can install it on nearly every Linux distro. Today I have opened Peppermint OS. If you want to know what I think about Peppermint, look at my video. TimeShift is very easy to install. Let's do that now in Peppermint, which is based on Debian. We can do that here in the terminal. sudo apt install TimeShift. I need a password. Now I confirm it. Yes. And as you see, it's very fast. We are done. Let's close the terminal now. We can search for TimeShift. Here it is. And now let's open TimeShift. We need a password. And here it is. First you have to do is to select your snapshot type. You can choose between rsync or butterfs. There are some differences between these two. Here is what you get with rsync. All files are copied when first snapshot is created and the subsequent snapshots are incremental. That means unchanged files will be hardlinked from the previous snapshot if available. Files and directories can be excluded from the backup, but I would not recommend that. It is possible to save snapshots on an external disk. This is a big advantage in my eyes. And this is what you get if you choose ButterFS. Snapshots with ButterFS provide byte-for-byte -byte copies and nothing is excluded. But you cannot back up on an external drive. If you want ButterFS snapshots, ButterFS has to be implemented as a file system in your distro. If you want rsync, you have to use ext4. As a file system. Debian always comes with ext4 as default. You can change that in the installation process, but ext4 is default, whereas OpenSUSE or Fedora comes with ButterFS as default. So long story short, you only can choose rsync if you use an ext4 file system and you only can choose ButterFS if you use a ButterFS file system. Click Next. Here we can uh, select the snapshot location. As I said before, ButterFS snapshots are saved on system partition. Other partitions are not supported. So let's go back to rsync and then click again Next. With rsync it's different. Now you can choose between all devices that are connected to your system. I'm in a virtual box, so I have only one a disk here at the moment. But if you have one, two, three or more disks available, they will show up here. The device that you want to use as a snapshot location needs to have a Linux file system on it. Otherwise, it won't work. The next thing you want to do is to select the snapshot levels here. You see Default is daily, but you also can take snapshots monthly, weekly, hourly and after every boot. Now you can keep five daily snapshots. This is a default here. You can keep four or you can keep five. In this configuration, six daily snapshots are stored and two hourly. The oldest one will always be deleted if a newer one is taken. So you always keep the last six snapshots or the last two or the last three, whatever you like. As I said, the root and the home folder is excluded by default. But you can include all files here if you want. If I check that here, the home folder will also be saved here. And I can also include the hidden files only, if I want. We also can create a snapshot at every given moment that does not depend on the timer. Click Create. And now, as you can see, we create 
a snapshot of the system. If you liked the video so far, please give me a thumb up and consider to subscribe to my channel to get more of my content in the future. Thank you very much. After this is done, we can see here one snapshot is created. Here it's the system peppermint and here's the date. Now we can restore our system with this snapshot. We have to select the snapshot. If you have more than one snapshot here, you have to decide what snapshot you want to restore here. Now we can select the target device. Here is SDA1, EXT4 and that's all. And now we have additional bootloader options. We can reinstall GRUB2 if we think that this also could be damaged and we can update the GRUB menu. You also can delete snapshots manually if you like. Here is the delete button if you want to do that. Check out my other videos if you like. See you. Bye-bye.